I'm Brian Montgomery. Today I'm joined by Allegheny senior Patrick Bull, the men's tennis team. This week's Allegheny Male Athlete of the Week. Pat, congrats on the honor. Thank you very much. So a huge weekend for you. You set the program record in both singles victories and combined wins while tying the mark for doubles wins. Now, for you, you earned that, both the singles and combined victories, with a huge win against uh, Wittenberg. Kind of just take us through that. Were you knowledgeable of the record and kind of how did it feel when you knew that you broke that total? Yeah, um, coach told me I was close when we were on spring break, but to be honest, going into the Wittenberg match, we were so focused on just performing well given uh, our close 5-4 loss to them at conferences last year that uh, it wasn't even on my mind. We were The team was getting really fired up. We, we had a good pre-match routine going, and uh, I was just focused on the match at hand and being able to get start off with a doubles win uh, and then move into singles. So I was happy that I got two wins to help out the team, and I couldn't be happier with the performance that we put up against Wittenberg. Yeah, and now that win against Wittenberg, kind of a nice little benchmark for the Gators, but this last week has brought along uh, a slew of great news for the team. Yourself earning, uh, I believe, number 10 in the ITA Central Regional Rankings, highest ranking in program history. The team moving up to number 16, also the highest ranking in program history. You know, you're entering your final few weeks for the blue and gold, and just, you've been able to see this program evolve every single year to now. It's the best program ranking ever. Just kind of take us through that. How, how has it felt to be a part of this journey? <clears throat> yeah, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's nice that we've had a core group of guys here for these last few years. We've graduated very few players these last couple years, and uh, we were all really excited going into this season. We felt like we had a really good shot this year, and it's nice to see the results we've had. We're really close to some teams we've struggled with in the past, and we finally got a big win over Carlton on spring break, which we've never beaten before. So it's just really nice, especially for the seniors, to hopefully continue this and go out on a good note. And uh, I'm excited to see uh, how the guys do the next few years with that core that we have built up. Yeah, and the team will really start to finish uh, their home stretch of the season with really just a gauntlet of matches. You have two matches on Friday. You have another one coming up on Saturday, and then Senior Day at the Robertson Complex next week. Uh, just you know, you've already done the best you can to really just to set history, set the tone for this program. Really, what's going to constitute a, a successful season as you move into the final weeks? Yeah, I, we're all building up for conferences. That's really the, the cap moment of the season. And we have a few conference matches left here that we're really excited for. We have Senior Day, like you said, against Oberlin. We have a big match against Kenyon next week, a uh, nationally ranked opponent. So uh, we're, just, we're just working hard in practice every day. We know we've done great so far, and we don't want to have any setbacks these last few weeks here going into conferences. So uh, hopefully we play well against these, these teams in our next few matches and have some confidence and momentum going into the conference tournament and, and then just give it everything we have that last weekend. All right, well, Pat, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck to you for the upcoming weekend. Thank you very much. And Gator fans, be sure to keep it locked into AlleghenyGators.com for all of your up-to-date Gators info.